elements of weather and climate in this session we are going to understand about humidity and precipitation so let's understand with humidity Humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere at a particular place and time. It varies from place to place. For instance, the level of humidity will be high in coastal areas. When the air is saturated with water vapor at a given temperature, it is known as dew point. Humidity is measured with an instrument called hygrometer moreover it can be measured in two ways absolute humidity and relative humidity absolute humidity is actual amount of water vapor present in a given volume of water it is expressed as a gram per cubic meter absolute humidity is not affected by change in temperature Whereas, relative humidity is the ratio between the actual amount of water vapor present in the air and the maximum amount of water the air can hold at that temperature. Apart from that, evaporation and condensation are also plays an important role. Transformation of water into water vapor is called evaporation. Whereas transformation of water vapor into solid or a liquid state is called condensation. Some of the important forms of condensation are fog, dew, frost, cloud. When condensation occurs around dust particles in the lower layers of the atmosphere, it leads to the formation of fog or a mist. When water vapor condenses, on a cold surface, it forms dew. When the temperature drops below the freezing point, saturated air condenses to form ice crystals. That's called frost. If we talk about clouds, they are of mainly three types. One is cirrus that are very thin and wispy. The another type is stratus cloud that are looking like a large gray sheet covering the entire sky. And the third one is cumulus clouds. These are very dense and widespread. It looks like a dome shape. Precipitation. When water droplets in the atmosphere become too heavy to remain suspended in air, they come down as rain, snow or hail. In any form falling on the earth's surface is called precipitation. Water droplets come down in the form of water is known as rain. At a higher altitude, when condensation takes place, at temperatures below freezing point, snowfall occurs. Haze occurs when moist air rises rapidly to cooler layers of the atmosphere. The water droplets freeze into ice pallets. There are three main types of rainfall. Let's understand the first one, convectional rainfall. It is a common in equatorial region and also known as four o'clock rain. As the air above the surface of the earth gets heated, it becomes less dense and rises. 
ascending air cools water vapor condenses and forms cumulus clouds these clouds cross the saturation point they come down as a huge downpour along with thunder and lightning the next type is orographic rainfall is also known as relief rainfall when moist air is compelled to ascend at a higher altitude and the subsequent decrease in the atmospheric pressure finally when dew point is reached it leads to a heavy rainfall if we talk about leeward side that is also known as the rain shadow region receives very little rainfall because as the wind descends it get compressed and warm and thus no condensation takes place the third type is cyclonic or we call it frontal layer rainfall it occurs in regions where cold air mixes with warm and moist air in the tropical regions it is associated with cyclones while in the temperate region with depression the place where the two air masses meet is called front as the warm air rises condensation occurs which leads to the formation of clouds and cause heavy rainfall 